What's up guys, Mark here from uh, VIP shop management slash on debatable. I'm going to be posting uh, this video for my VIP users and for uh, on debatable channel because this this problem concern everybody on this globe. <laughs> uh, the problem is called when you're trying to print something and you're all excited, you're so busy, click on print because you have everything set up from days before and it says printer is offline and or printer is not available or it doesn't tell you anything it just doesn't print and just want to hang yourself this is the this is the, the giant thing behind me in the back that it's making this noise you see the disaster is uh the printer all printer comes with wi-fi option and everybody gets excited that oh my god so i can plug it anywhere away from the computer and that way i can plug it to the wall and hook it up uh wirelessly and usually the, the setup is a disaster on its own. We all know that. To set it up as a wireless, you just want to hang yourself up. You just finally, you did it. You're all excited. The, it prints. Come back two days later or two weeks later. Whatever the time. Usually it picks the worst time ever when you're super busy. Click on print. <laughs> you get nothing. So I'm going to help you today how to avoid this problem. Unless, I mean, the good news about it, if you ask HP and brother, What's going on with the wireless? They'll tell you, well, the good news about it, we always look at the negative and the positive side. Uh, the positive side, uh, the printer is not working, has created so many jobs across the globe. Uh, they're called IT people, and that's how they get their job, because the printer never works. So it's a good job creator. There's no problem about that. But what about the guy uh, at home? What does he do? Well, the first thing he needs to do is avoid the wireless, the whole wireless option should be removed from the printer. First of all, let me explain why this ha this problem happening. See, the printer is not smart enough to pick up the wireless on its own. Even they try to make it like this, but it doesn't. Because if you have two wireless routers, it doesn't know which one. It needs the password. And somehow the router always doesn't like the printer. So somehow uh, the, the communication between the router and the printer wirelessly always somehow lost for no reason like the phone doesn't lose uh, the, com the communication between uh, the wireless uh, router doesn't the Wi-Fi always work about printer the <laughs> wireless hate it almost always kick it off and just number two the wire the printer itself it doesn't have a computer chip to be super smart to say hey I lost connection let me try to gain connection and fix the issue it does not it's dumb as hell literally and that's uh, this is one the one I have it's an HP I'm not dog on HP that goes to every printer wireless out there it just the setup doesn't work because the computer and the printer must be on the same network and the printer must have a connection to the router at all time so basically what I'm saying is do not you connect your printer to a wireless don't fall into that trap I call it a trap unless you want to become the, the printer's bitch or hire an IT guy do not do so I, I, I'm, this is the printer I somehow I was like man it's kind of far away and we do get lazy and we say you know what I'm gonna because the cable that comes with it never reaches so you're like you know I'm gonna go ahead and connect it wirelessly and then you just want to hang yourself how do you do it then there's two options the cable with it doesn't work because it's too short. Unless you want to put the printer next to your computer, forget about it. You need to buy it. It's either, uh, if you have multiple computers uh, that you want to connect your printer to, then go get the Ethernet cable. So in the back of the each printer that is wireless, usually have Ethernet cable, which is that should be option number one, not option number two. And that way, connect it to the Ethernet cable, and that way you can network it. Uh, the, the, with all different computers, you never lose connection that way. The better option, actually, even better than Ethernet, because some of them even suck with Ethernet because they cannot handle the Ethernet, uh, is to connect it with a USB. And some people say, man, the USB is short. You can buy the USB as long as you want. So go online, get it for $10, and you'll never, ever, ever, if you connect your printer with USB, you'll never, ever have to deal unless the ink is out ever man millions maybe billions of people every day deal with this problem and nobody want to talk about it the engineers at brother and they don't want to talk about it they don't want to tell you do not connect it wirelessly because basically the technology is not as easy as it sounds 
don't make that mistake. I made it a mistake here and I don't print as much. Just get the cable, order the law. If your printer in a different room, hook up the cable, forget about the wireless. Like I said, unless you wanna hire an IT who's always working on it or you're doing it all the time, just listen from the best. Connect it with the wire. You'll never ever have this problem. That goes to all printers out there. Shaquille O'Neal actually lately has been advertising printers. I don't know how in the world Shaq, <laughs> he knows about printers lately. I know he knows about basketball, but in what world Shaq knows about printers? But <laughs> welcome to 2021. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks a lot. Bye.